Hey guys, it is March 29th, 2019, 5.31 p.m. And in today's cartoon, I'm taking on the whole Mutals thing. Uh, you know, we got this whole anti-vaxxer thing going on in the U.S. with people that don't want to vaccinate their kids and stuff. They just, religious reasons, or uh, they believe the vaccines are worse than actually um, getting sick. And then, of course, giving illnesses to other people and crap. And now, Americans are taking it around the world with them. These anti-vaxxer people. And just people who are just stupid or whatever. Um, if you have children, vaccinate your kids, okay? Alright? I don't want to go to Walmart and get sneezed on anything I know. Well, actually, I've been vaccinated, so it should be okay. But still. Still. Come on, folks. Come on. Uh, years ago, I had a dog, and I went to uh, PetSmart with my dog, and then uh, a couple days later, uh, I hadn't vaccinated my dog from Parvo yet. My dog had Parvo, um, and while we were at PetSmart, I stepped in some dog dew. It was in the middle of the store, on the floor of the store, and I'm pretty sure that's how he got it, because I was probably the one who brought it home for him on my shoe. Uh, the dog survived. He was fine, but... Um, $600 later, <laughs> this was, uh, it's probably cost a lot more now. Um, I should have vaccinated my dog, you know? And so should have the person who brought their unparboed, the other person who brought their unparboed or the parvo carrying dog into the store. That's the first time I ever learned about parvo. But anyway, it happens with people too, you know? You take your kid, you know, to Funland, if you know what Funland is, or to the amusement park, or arcade, or wherever you take your kids now, to the movies. Yeah, we used to have movies. People take their kids to the movies, you know? And there's other kids there. Take them to McDonald's, and they all get in the ball pit, and next thing you know, hachoo! And you bring that shit home. Yeah. Give your kids vaccinations, and then if you haven't done it, don't jump on an airplane. Oh my god, airplanes are the worst place in the world, or the best place in the world to pick up something. I can't tell you how many times I got sick after getting off an airplane. And I'm not one of these paranoid people always worried about getting sick and stuff like that. But it does happen, you know? And it is annoying. And sometimes you can't help if you're going to take a cold with you somewhere. But, oh, come on. People. Save your kids' lives and stop bringing that crap with you. And, and it's already bad enough people think l low of Americans right now. Come on, we are not the most popular people in the world, alright? People look at us and they're like, oh my god. I mean... Even people in England with Brexit are look, looking at us and like, well, at least we don't have that going on. Uh, but then we, we don't really have to make matters worse by spreading diseases to the rest of the world, okay? What are we, a bunch of missionaries? This is the, the late 1700s, early 1800s, when they carry that stuff to Pacific Islands. Anyway, I like drawing sloths. Sloths are fun. And my first idea for this was um, a Costa Rican was wearing the hazmat suit and saying to a bunch of tourists, welcome to Costa Rica. And there's this newspaper headline in this newspaper machine. Sounds much more uh, convoluted, you know? Um, congested with all that going on. And then right as I was, right when I finished drawing it, or right before I finished drawing it, at some point around that time, I just thought, oh, this would be so much fun here if I have it as sloths. It's more Costa Rican, right? And everybody who goes to Costa Rica wants to see a sloth. If you go to Costa Rica and you don't want to see a sloth, why are you going to Costa Rica? Seriously. We don't have sloths here. Go find a sloth and go look at it. They actually have sloth rescue places in Costa Rica. It's really, really cool because I looked this stuff up, up on YouTube. My niece is a vet and she wants to go to Costa Rica and she's like demanding that she has to see a sloth. And I want to see a sloth too. Sloth fact time. Uh, did you know that sloths only leave the tree, only go to the ground to defecate? If you're a Republican, that means take a crap. So, kind of like what you're doing to America. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to do some shout outs or a shout out. Uh, Ariel, how you doing, Ariel? And she saw me the last cartoon, and she said, I would have expected this perspective to take a, a while to get right, but you nailed it. Oh, thank you, Ariel. You're so sweet. Uh, I can't remember what I said about that. Did I have a hard time doing that? 
Um, with that one, the only thing I had the perspective problem with was really the cars. Um, the bridge, the bridge, just drawing the bridge, which might look really, really simple, was just a lot of fun. I don't know why. Just sometimes something simple is fun to do. Um, I just really enjoyed drawing the bridge and the people under it. Made me think of the Chili Pepper song. Um, and I like putting the moon in there too. It, it was just cool. But the car perspective, um, that that was the hardest part with the people and having them between the cars and stuff. But it was also fun to do. Just say, land them in there. Um, and then Errol thought she saw a boo-boo. That was just, you, you can say it's a boo-boo, but it's also kind of spontaneity where something was colored or not colored or whatever, or colored differently, like a tire or whatever. So that was all that was. We actually had a typo in a cartoon a couple weeks ago. I don't know if the editors at the Star have figured that out yet. And the bad thing was I threw it past a couple copy editors here on the American side, here in the United States. For some reason, my uh, my brush just blew up. <laughs> um, I have a couple of copy editors here, and I've been using them for everything I do. Because it's a lot quicker. Um, I think I spelled, but I didn't go with them today because I think I spelled measles right. Um, you just saw the rough. Now you see the colored, and now the cartoon is done. The video is done. Yay, it is done. I can go on my life now. Uh, happy Friday, everybody. Hope you have, had a great March, and we will see you in April. This is the last cartoon of March. Um, because the month is over. Spring is here. Here in Costa Rica, it's always spring, I guess. Uh, go to news.co.cr and uh, check out the Facebook page of Costa Rica Star, and click the red button and subscribe, and leave, say something, I'll give you a shout-out. See you guys next week. Goodbye.